everyone, I just thought I'd do a quick video on using the D850 at night. So I just did nothing too technical, but just some photos with boosting the ISO a bit, and then also a comparison with a D810, a D500, and the D850 at three different concerts, just to show you results you'll get with the D850 at a concert as well, and with it being in the dark. So here we started off with uh, ISO 400, and then I went up to ISO 800, ISO 1600, 3200. I don't know what happened here, but it went a bit darker compared to the 1600, but uh, either way, it still looks good. And then I went to 64. 400, I stopped at 12,800 and here you're starting to see a lot of the grain but even then there's still a lot of detail in here and I mean compared to the 400 you will see a difference it's quite a huge difference really but the 12,800 is still usable and compared to other cameras or older cameras you wouldn't get these kind of results at that such high ISO. And here is what it would be like if you shot at ISO 64. I've edited this one. Generally it's really clean really nice and it's a good image sorry about the tripod leg in there but it's a wide angle so it got it in and then this image here i took last night at a concert and this is iso 20,000. i mean that is actually really good i would normally never go over 5,000 iso on any of the other cameras i've had because it just doesn't look good at all so one thing i've done here is i've this is the raw large and then i've gone to the raw medium and the raw small here when you're looking at it like this you don't really see that much of a difference so there's a little slight color change and i think the contrast actually gets a little bit stronger at the uh, raw small but one difference you'll see when you zoom in obviously this is a larger image when it's the raw large um, having it one to one you'll see when I scroll to the next one, it shrinks in size. And that is one-to-one -one on the small. There's, it's still a good enough image, you can use it, and it's just as good as, as anything else, but there is actually less details there, or, or less to work with. I mean, compared to the Royal Large, sure, you see a bit more of the grain, but you are zoomed in one-to-one, -one. there's just so much more there. I actually prefer the Large, and I think I would continue shooting the Large. The medium, I don't know, it works and it's basically kind of like any other camera. The small with it being smaller, it looks more detailed and it looks like there's more contrast and stuff, but that's because it's all kind of shrunk into a smaller area. So I think having seen how it is, this is at ISO 20,000, I cannot complain at all. This is really good. So now I'm going to compare it with the D810 and D500. I don't have those two cameras anymore, so I don't have anything as high ISO as this, so I just have to compare with what I have. So here, this is the D810 at ISO 5000. Obviously it's really clean, and if I shoot the D850 at around ISO 5000, it's going to be quite clean as well. But then, here's the D500 at ISO 5000, and there's so much more grain. There's lighting in here and everything, and I mean, there's a lot of grain for ISO 5000. And one thing you need to know about this is there was no stage lighting. The only lighting in there is those little light bulbs. There was nothing else. He was literally in the dark. For that, it's really good compared to, if we compare the D500 and the D850 next to each other. Strangely enough, they almost look the same, but the D850 is 20,000 ISO and the D500 is 5,000 ISO. I mean, I cannot complain at all if they're giving similar results and there's a huge difference in ISO. The D850 is really good. I am so happy I got this. Yeah, I just wanted to show a quick comparison with that. Yeah, I guess we can take a look at the D810 as well with it. Yes, you see a difference here. There was good stage lighting. The D810 is at ISO 5000 as well, but there's still a lot of grain in there. I'm sure if I had boosted it up to 20,000 ISO, it wouldn't have been as good as the D850. It's just an excellent camera and it's an all around camera. It does really well. Getting these nighttime shots, it's actually actually been really good. This was shot at ISO 64, so it's really, really clean. I mean, I of course have seen clean images at ISO 64 with other cameras too, but obviously with this being uh, large at uh, 46 megapixels, it's there's just so much detail in there there's so much to work with yeah so i just hope this helps any of you guys out to decide on whether the d850 is a good camera i seriously like this camera it does a great job and i'm hoping to do some further testing on it i will be shooting a lot of concerts with this camera and i don't i'm not complaining at all one thing i had problems with with the d810 especially with shooting in the dark like this it just couldn't focus at all the d850 
struggled a little bit, but it still caught it. It is so worth it. The D500, it would have caught it as well, but I think it hunted a little bit more. This is, this is really good. And I'm pretty pleased. Thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you want to find out any more and leave a comment below if you want to know anything and I'll get back to you guys.